Hey guys, I'm going to be going through all of the 2023 January wave sets that so far have been leaked, starting off with this recycling truck. This set's going to be called the Recycling Truck, set number 60386, 261 pieces and 3 minifigures. It comes with recycling bins and the recycling truck in a light teal blue color and white and gray. I think it looks really good, it's one of my favorites so far. Next up, we have set number 60388. It's 344 pieces. It's a 7 plus set. It's called the Gaming Tournament Truck. It seems to have th four figures and a nice big truck. I like the design on the front and the colors and the light green and black color scheming. I like this one a lot also. And $40 is not too bad for it. Next up for $30, we have set number 60387 with 252 pieces and too many figures. It's a big suspension off-roader that has also a mini speed bike and a tent campground. Not too bad. I'm not too interested in it, though. The official name is the 4x4 Off-Roader Adventures. Now we've got set 60389 called the Custom Car Garage, it has 507 pieces, it's a 6 plus set, and it has 4 minifigures, one of them's in a wheelchair, it has 2 cars, and a bunch of accessories to display the cars, the cars also, you could switch the features like the bumpers and the tail pieces. For $60, this is an easy pass for me, as the colors are a bit off, and I'm not too interested in it at all. Next up, we got the $10 set, the Park Tractor, set number 60390, with 86 pieces and one minifigure. It also has a tractor with a little cart, a couple of plants, a watering bucket, and a chipmunk. I'm not going to be getting this, so I'm not too interested in it. It also has a gold tree, but not a bad set for $10. Now we've got the Police Bike Car Chase for $10 only, set 60392. With 59 pieces. They said I do not like the look of the car all that much, but for $10 with two figures, including a cool robber, I like the face print. That's a really good deal if you have a kid. It has a motorcycle on a car and some $100 bills. Maybe I'll get this one, maybe not. Next, we've got the 4x4 fire truck rescue. Set number 60393 with 97 pieces for $10. This is not a bad set. It's a little pickup truck with a ladder on the side. Not too bad. One figure. I like the helmet. It has a tree build with a cat stuck in it. Not going to be getting it, but nice little build. Next up, we've got set number 60385, the Construction Digger, for $20 and 148 pieces with two minifigures. I'm not going to be getting this one, but it looks quite good. It has an interchangeable shovel with a forklift piece, along with a little digging site and bench. Not a bad set at all. Next up, we've got one of my favorites, the Penguin Slushy Van. It features two minifigures, 194 pieces. It's set number 60384, 5 plus set. I like the design. It looks similar to the ice cream truck from last year. Or not last year, from a couple years ago now. And I like the giant slushy on top. This one I'll most probably be getting. $20 is a very good deal. Same price as the last one. And I think that I thought for sure they would bump it up to at least 25 or 30, but it seems to be 20 still, which is great to hear. Next up, we've got the electric sports car with one figure and 95 pieces, set 60383. It has a solar panel 
charging station since it's an electric car and it's a pretty nice sleek design with black light blue and yellow I'm not sure if I'll get this one probably not but it's a nice design I like the windshield that goes overhead the whole way Now we have the Vet Van Rescue for only $10. It is 58 pieces. It's a 4 plus set. It has two nice nurse nurses. Those look good. And it has a very 4 plus -y ambulance for animals with a paw design on the side. But it has a nice bulldog and cat with a stretcher and a bowl and some food for them. Not a bad set for a 4 plus set with the two figures and pets. Now we have set 60356, a 5 plus stunt bike. It has a bear, it's called the bear stunt bike. Nah, I don't really like it. Then we have 60358, the cyber stunt bike. This one's not bad, but I won't be getting either. This nice police bike seems to be a cool poly bag. Looks like a training obstacles. It has a little thing to go over the logs. I like those log printed pieces. I'll see if I can get this one or not. I am intrigued by this set. It is set number 60369, the mobile police dog training set with 197 pieces for $29.99, which seems a bit high. It has too many figures, a dog that we've seen a lot and a baby dog which might be a new piece i like that piece a lot it has a female police officer but it also has a guy in one of those body suits that you're meant to let the dog bite you so i like that figure a lot it's a pretty cool set it has like a little jeep kind of a build with enclosed back and a camper and then it has a couple of obstacles for the dogs to do like a little thing you can jump over steps as a little tree it has some snacks I like this set. It has a harness also, so the, dog, the police officer could let go of the dog with, from the harness. I like it. Maybe I'll get it. I'm not sure. Next up with five minifigures, we have the Emergencies Vehicles HQ headquarters. It has a helicopter, a police jeep, and an ambulance. I like the ambulance a little bit. Police jeep's not bad. Another helicopter, not too interested in that. It obviously has the fire, ambulance, and police parts to it. It has some solar panels on it, and it has a crook on a cool motorbike. Not a bad set, but for $70, easy, easy, easy pass for me. For $100, which may, might be the most expensive city set from this wave, we have the set 60372, the Police Training Academy, with 823 pieces. It's a 6 plus set. Not a bad one. Let's see. It has. Okay, it has uh, six minifigures and a horse, it has an ATV, it has a toy climbing wall, monkey bars, and a zip line. Not a bad set, it feels a bit high. It's pretty cool though, it has like a zip course that you can go across, it's meant to be obviously a training course for the policemen. Probably not going to get it, but not a bad one, if it goes on sale, maybe I'll get it. Next up, we've got another 4 plus set, the $39.99 Police Station Chase. It comes with four figures, two crooks, and two police officers. A really bad looking police car because it's a 4 plus set. But you got the nice motorcycle. Not the worst set, 40 bucks is a bit high, but that's the standard nowadays for 4 plus sets. Obviously, won't be picking it up, but not bad. Next up, we have the Fire Rescue Boat, set number 60373, with 144 pieces and three minifigures. It has a speedboat dinghy, it looks like, and obviously a fire boat. With a stud shooter on the front that shoots the 
blue stud, so it obviously represents water. And it looks like maybe there's like a water jet packer. That's meant to save the person in the dinghy. Pretty decent set for 30 bucks. This set pains me because it's actually one of my favorites for $65. The Fire Command Truck, number 60374. Except it has that price tag. $65 for only 502 pieces is obviously not the best. It has only two figures, it looks like. And... I don't know. I just can't see that being $65. Now we have the matching 4 plus set for the fire station. 153 pieces. Set number 60375 for $40 as well. It's not bad. It features another not great fire truck. But it has a nice like popcorn machine that's on fire. I actually like that a lot. Screaming carnival person. And then a very basic 4 plus station with some nice printed boards in the back with the plans and sirens and has a slide in bright yellow. Next I have the set 30639 5 plus set. It's a poly bag. A girl with a helmet, nice helmet hairpiece, a husky, pink scooter, and a little tree with a butterfly. Pretty good set for a poly bag. Starting with the Friends Wave now, we have the Holiday Camping Trip, which reminds me a lot of the Mickey and Minnie set from last year. It has two figures, Autumn and Anya, for 87 pieces at 41726. Not too great, but $20 is not too bad. So. Next up, we have possibly the best set so far that we have seen, the Downtown Flower and Design Stores, set number 41732, with 2,010 pieces for $160. That's a pretty good, actually very good, price-to-part ratio. It's a 12-plus set. It has a whole bunch of figures. It has nine characters, two pets, and lots of accessories, right? I like the set a lot. It uses those... Um, triangle tile pieces, a lot of them actually, in purple, light purple, and even lighter purple, and then black going all the way up in a diagonal wave design, and I may actually be getting this one, even though I don't usually get friend sets, I like this one a lot. Next up, we have Isla's Room for $20, set 41740, with 209 pieces, it's six a 6 plus set. It has two figures, pretty good, it's similar to the Brothor's Corner of the Room style. I won't be getting any of these Corner of the Rooms, there's a couple of them. The next Corner of the Room set is Leo's Room, it comes with two mini figures, or mini dolls rather, a soccer net, and... It looks like a cat, pretty good piece right there, for 20 bucks. set 41754 with 203 pieces, so very similar. Eh, another easy pass though. I do like the kind of a mock style build, like the Brothor, but like at the same time I didn't really like that one so much, and I collect a lot of Marvel and I didn't get that one, even though it was 20 bucks. so this is a definite pass. I do not see the set's name or price, but it, I would guess it's the same price for $20. Maybe $25 looks maybe a little bit bigger. I like this one more because it has a gaming setup, but another pack. Now we have the Dog Rescue Van for $29.99. It has two mini dolls, a bus stop, and a dog, obviously, rescue van. With it, I actually really like that piece. Wow, okay. It has like a no dogs walking, and instead of like a cardboard box that's flipped over, you have the dog with like a wheel for a leg. That's pretty special. I like that. But for 30 bucks, it seems still overpriced with 300 pieces. It's pretty good, but I just don't see that much there. But I mean, exactly 10 cents per piece is obviously good nowadays. So.
Now we have the organic grocery store, set number 41729. Look at it closely because I said it's $90, which seems insane to me. Even though it has 830 pieces, I don't know, I just don't see where all those pieces go. I guess there's a lot of small pieces in there. It has a food truck, like forklift, uh, pickup truck style. It, you could, they, they're loading stuff in the back. It seems to have five figures. $90 is a lot. Looks good though. Next up we have the skate park for $49.99. Set number 41751 with 431 pieces. Six plus set. Uh, yeah, no. Very, very easy note for me. I don't like it. I don't like the color. The bills are very all over the place. Easy pass. Next, we've got an interesting set called the Mobile Tiny House with 785 pieces for $65. That's very good, albeit there are small pieces in it. It has three mini dolls, a couple of animals, a cat that looks like a bunny, chipmunk, a turtle maybe, salamander actually. Uh, not bad. Interesting build. Next up, we have the Mobile Bubble Tea Shop, set number 41733 for $10, 109 pieces. All these friend sets seem to have pretty good price to piece ratio, some better than others, but not bad. It has too many dolls and a mascot with a scooter. Next, we have the Donut Shop with too many dolls. It's a little shop, it has a green scooter, two little seats, 10 bucks, 63 pieces. This one's not as good. It is a four plus set, but honestly, it's kind of hard to tell since it's so cheap. Pretty good. I'm going to guess this is a poly bag. It's a five plus poly bag, if it is. Set three, zero, six, three, four. It has three flowers. Nah, I've already seen a couple of similar builds. Now we've got a rumor from Promo Bricks, who's obviously very reliable. They say at least four sets are rumored for the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which is, I guess, the upcoming movie. The trailer just dropped. Very excited for the movie and very excited for the sets. I'm not going to be giving my thoughts on these as I already have in the other video, but we have the Hulkbuster, the Battle of Wakanda. Pretty good set. Definite upgrade from the last version. I like it. Maybe I'll get it. I have the older version. And yeah, not too much to say on there. Figures are pretty decent. Two Outriders, a Koye, and Bruce Banner, who is a nice Raging Hulk face alternate. And we have the Ghost Rider bike. I like this set a lot. I don't really like the mech so much, but I'll probably get it. It's $35. The Hulkbuster is 50 I have this version of Ghost Rider, just the older version. with the. It's pretty good. Then we have the Miles Morales versus Morbius. I'll probably be getting this, just I like the figures, I like the car. Overall, very good set. Then we have the Quinjet. I thought this one looked a lot like the Guardian ship from two years ago. I'll probably be getting this eventually, maybe when it's on sale. I could see this for like 30% off, maybe I'll pick it up. It's interesting on the side, you could put the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. sticker tile. So to make it that version, or you can make it the regular Avengers logo. It's nice you could attach Iron Man to the side. Some nice angles. I like the stand that has some landing gear with five figures. Um, then we got the Thanos mech. Not liking these mechs. I think it, they already had this Thanos from two years ago, maybe. Not a bad minifigure, but obviously I like him as a big fig, not as a minifig. So easy pass. If you don't have a gauntlet, though, I could see you getting it. Keep in mind, these new mechs are $15 each, so I won't be getting any of these unless they're on massive scale sales. This is the Rocket Raccoon mech armor. Good figure. I want the figure, but not paying $15. Same with the Hulk. I don't have a minifig of Hulk. I'm not really interested in it, but it has some nice torso printing, nice face printing with the stubble and everything, but $15 way too much. I didn't like them for 10 15 is outrageous unless you're giving me like a brand new insanely detailed character like maybe the Captain America Falcon But even then still I don't know $15 just sounds so much
my thoughts on these are in the Ninjago video that I posted. I'll give just quick thoughts. Eh. Dragon, I don't really like that one. Lightning Jet 10 bucks is a good deal, but pretty basic. Nice mech. Next one, ten dollars. When it's growing on me, I like it. Ten bucks is a good deal. Ten dollars for this also. Again, ten dollars and you're getting two figures is pretty good. This one's one of my favorites, the Cole's Earth Dragon for thirty-five. This is my first, definitely this is my favorite. Highest Mech Rider Evo, I like a lot. Twenty bucks Mech Battle. Eh. Creative Ninja Brick Box, sixty bucks. Now we have the White Rabbit for only twenty dollars. Set number 31133 with 258 pieces, so good price to part ratio. It has a large carrot and a sunflower. I like it a lot. It uses for the feet, the clamshells that are flipped upside down. I'll probably be getting this one day. Next we have the Monkey Kids Combi Mech for $20 coming January 1st. Set number 80040. There's 277 pieces, so for 20 bucks, that's very good. It's two figures, which is the average. Three would have obviously been preferable, but pretty good looking mech. Not going to be getting, but nice set. Now we got Maze Dragon Jet for $20. It has three figures. I like that figure a lot in the corner with the ghost bottom, like the Ninjago ghosts. I like these bad guys a lot with the black and gold and purple design. The plane overall doesn't really do it for me. The jet, I don't, I don't know. I like the flames on the back though. Next up we have Monkey Kids Team Hideout for $139.99 with 1,582 pieces. So another very good price to part ratio. Set number 80044. This one is a mixed bag for me. I don't really like it all that much, but it is a nice bigger set. It has a couple of figures. I mean, I don't know. Probably not going to be getting it as six figures. Monkey Kid, May, Pigsy, Sandy, Lee the Panda, Stallkeeper, and the Golden Winged Eagle. Eh, pass. It's too colorful. Next up, we have Monkey Kid's Team Hideout. As soon as I saw this set, I immediately thought of the Chima Elephant. This is the Yellow Tusk Elephant for $79.99. Set number 80043 with 844 pieces. So again, less than 10 cents per piece, which is not that uncommonly the norm nowadays. It has a large white elephant with obviously yellow tusks. It has a lot of machine guns on it, which I like. From the end of the tusk, it has two stud shooters, and it's carrying the pig in the chariot. Well, not really chariot, the jail and back. Next we've got the Panda Haven for fifty dollars. Set number two one two four five. I don't really like Minecraft. I've never played it before. The set does look pretty good though. Obviously it's easy easily recognized as a panda. It can also uh, set up straight. There's a nice couple of figures and animals. I like this one. I'm not gonna be getting it but not bad. Next, we have set 21244 with 427 pieces for $45. So it's a little bit over 10 cents per piece, which again, it's still pretty good. You get the sword outpost. This actually looks very cool. Obviously, it looks a ton like the Minecraft sword, which it's supposed to be. Even I, who don't play Minecraft or watch Minecraft or anything like that, recognized it. It has a lot of, bunch of nice animals and figures. I like this one. 45 bucks isn't bad. Now we got set 21240 for $9.99 with 65 pieces. The Swamp Adventure. It has two characters, interchangeable head for the zombie. Pretty good set. 10 bucks. You get, it looks like a toad. Not bad. Okay, this is the B Cottage, set number 21241 with 254 pieces for $25. It only looks to have one figure, actually, with the baby zombie, which is actually really cute. I like this one. It has a couple of bees. It has, obviously, a large bee. Pretty good. 25 bucks. Not an expensive set. 
Now we have the Frozen Peaks, the 304 pieces for $35. Again, it's over $0.10 cents per piece, but I wouldn't worry about it. It has three figures and a goat, which I like. I actually want that goat. Not a very interesting build, though, to me, so definite pass. I probably won't be getting any Minecraft ones, to be honest. Now we've got set 21246, the Deep Dark Battle, for $65 with 584 pieces. It's an 8 plus set. I like it. I like the dark blue colors. I like the light blue colors. I like the dark color scheme. It has a couple of figures. I don't know. I'm not getting it, but looks pretty cool, actually. Now we have the End Arena for $25, 252 pieces. So going back over under, rather. 10 cents per piece, set 21242. It has two figures and the Enderman. I don't really like the builds, but cool figures. Moving on to Disney now, we have the set number 43210, Moana's Wayfinding Boat. I like this one, it has two figures. It's 35 bucks with 321 pieces. So, not a bad price to part ratio, especially with that giant sale. I like it. it. I thought it'd be for sure like 50 bucks, so 35 is nice. Next, we have Aurora's Castle for $45 with 187 pieces. It's a 4 plus set, so you're not going to get that near that price to part ratio. Surprisingly, though, almost 200 pieces for 45 bucks for, I feel like, 4 plus is not bad. Especially since they always have printed parts, which are always nice. Not a massive fan. There's not much to the build. It's too spread out for me. But it has Malefic Maleficent's Throne, which I like a lot. Not going to be getting it, but pretty nice little set. Now we have yet another Dots. Nah. A dots drawer. I'm not going to be talking about these. I don't want it. We got a Duplo set. And back to the Disney, we have Princess's Enchanted Journey. It has a couple separate storylines. It has Rapunzel on a hot air balloon. It has Jasmine on the magic carpet, which is like a massive ride build there. And it has Cinderella with her chariot and white horse. Pretty nice set, but $65, 320 pieces. I mean, you do the math. That's more than 20 cents a piece. It's not good. I do like this one. It is ten dollars, eighty nine pieces. That's pretty good. It reminds me of like a music box. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Twirling Rapunzel comes with Rapunzel and the chameleon. I like it. Maybe I'll get this one. Nice little desk piece. Okay, I really like this set. One figure. I think it's twenty five dollars for set number seven six nine one seven. Man. Rest in peace. But yeah, I'll be getting this one. Next for $10, we have the Tuscan Raider Brickheads. Looks very good. It's at 40615. And during 52 pieces, very good. Alright guys, that's all for now. I spent a good few hours making this video, so if you could please subscribe, it mean a ton to me. Have a great day. Bengals Bricks out.